Welcome. Today we will talk about mindfulness. So, what is it? Mindfulness is the ability to be aware in the present moment. You know how sometimes, maybe in the middle of a meeting or conversation, we can wake up to realize that we have been reliving a past event or imagining something in the future. When we do this, we are actually missing what's happening right now in the present. And if we do it often, we can begin to feel disconnected as if we're living on autopilot. The mind is constantly producing thoughts, noticing what those thoughts are without trying to change them or worry about what they may mean is essential to being mindful. Mindfulness emphasizes being aware of what is happening moment by moment without trying to control the experience. By simply paying attention in this way, we begin to be more awake and present in our lives. This allows us to move beyond how we think things are or wish them to be in order to see how things actually are. The more we do this, the more we learn to separate ourselves from bad habits like eating when we're stressed or having the same argument with a family member over and over again or applying an outdated solution to a new business challenge. We also begin to see that our experiences don't necessarily define us, that there is a difference between thinking, I feel anger versus I am an angry person. It's a subtle shift that can make a huge difference. Mindfulness training is especially important as the number of distractions from email, cell phones, and other technologies increase. It is easy to get in the habit of trying to do several things at once, Yet studies now suggest that this will reduce your performance, raise stress levels, and may even lead to premature aging. Who wants that? Mindfulness training can help increase your ability to prioritize, focus, and move your attention effectively from one task to another, allowing you to actually accomplish more by doing less. Many corporations, including Apple, Google, and General Mills, have implemented mindfulness training programs to help their employees manage stress and improve their health, as well as to enhance their creativity, decision-making, and leadership skills. For some people, seeing is believing. And fortunately, through MRI technology, we can now see the physical changes this training has on the brain, including increased activity in the prefrontal cortex, hippocampus, and insula. These areas are important to enhancing brain power, emotional well-being, cardiac strength, and more. There's even some early evidence to suggest this practice may reduce the impact of aging on the brain. So, how do we get started? And just what do we mean when we talk about practicing mindfulness? Well, meditation is the tool we use for that. And meditation can take many forms, including sitting meditation, body scan, yoga, eating mindfully, and walking. Mindfulness meditation focuses your attention on a particular object for a set time, and we will use the breath and the body as our objects. These will serve as an anchor and will give us something to come back to when the mind inevitably wanders off. People often think that meditating correctly means clearing all thought from the mind. This is a myth. When we meditate, we are not trying to stop or control our thoughts because it's not possible. In fact, when we focus our attention on an object, it usually doesn't take long before the mind wanders right off, and this happens whether you are new to meditation or you've been practicing for years. The mind never stops thinking. It's when we get caught up in those thoughts that we lose mindfulness. By witnessing thoughts, allowing them to pass, and returning to your chosen object of focus over and over again, you can actually build the muscle of concentration. It's like a fitness routine for the mind. So having said that, let's try practicing mindfulness. 